Hey everyone, and welcome to My Yoga Playground. My name is Kay, and today's class is called Yoga for Weight Loss. Welcome. In today's class, guys and girls, we're going to need, if you have on hand, a couple of yoga blocks. You might need them for some of the poses that we're going to do. And because we're working on weight loss, we probably want some small weights, which is what I'm incorporating in today's class. So anything from a few pounds, up to 10 pounds, depending how strong you are. I have some three pound weights here today with me that we're going to use for today's class. Now, because this is a yoga for weight loss class, we are going to focus on building heat, moving one breath per movement, and as well building strength. So today's class, yoga for weight loss, is going to focus on our legs, the strength in our legs, strength in our shoulders, our chest, back, and triceps because we are using some weights to go along with that. We're really going to reinforce what yoga already gives us. So let's get started at the top of our mats. We're going to start with some sun salutations today. All right, let's get started at, for today's class. We're going to start today at the top of our mats in mountain pose. Let's make this class fun. We're going to build up some heat, lots of energy, and start building some muscles and strength in our body. On the inhale, let's take an inhale, arms up. And exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Let's take a step back with the right leg coming into a crescent lunge. Inhaling up. Exhaling down, hands to the ground. Let's push back downward, facing dog on the exhale. Inhaling, plank, kneeling or full. Exhaling, halfway down, chaturanga. And then let's flip those feet, knees off the ground for upward facing dog. Always the option to use our cobra pose here. And then on the exhale, right back to down dog. Let's step up, right leg, coming into our crescent lunge again. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up. And exhale, we're going to come into a chair pose. Inhaling up. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. This time, let's go back with our left leg. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, downward dog. Inhaling for our plank. Always the kneeling option here, guys. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog. And exhaling, downward facing dog. Now, if you're not used to going in at a faster pace, this is a more of a cardio class. Let's step up for our crescent lunge. Inhale. Exhaling, forward fold. We're trying to move one breath per movement. Go at your own pace though, inhaling, coming into our volcano pose, and exhaling for chair pose. So we should be really nicely warmed up right now. We're going to move into some side lateral stretches to stretch out the side body. Let's come to the center of our mat, or you can stay at the top of a mat. I'm just going to stand here so that you can see me. Taking an inhale, bringing both arms up. Exhaling, dropping my right arm, inhaling, reaching up to the sky elongating our spine, and then coming into our side lateral stretch. Now we can gaze up, or in front, or down, whatever works best. Inhaling, arm up, reaching up to the sky with the right this time. Let's bring the left hand down, reaching up and over. Holding for a few breaths while we stretch out these muscles the right side of our body. Now let's flow through it, inhaling up, making sure to reach up first before we come into the lateral flexion. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, what would you do without me telling you how to breathe here? <laughs> exhaling down. Very good, arms to our sides. We're going to step back up to the top of our mats. This time Guys and girls, we're going to grab the weights. So if you have your weights, whether that's one, two, three, five pounds, ten pounds, whatever works for you, please don't overdo it. If you don't have any weights at all, soup cans are really fantastic to use. And if you're not quite ready for the weights yet, no problem at all. So just do the motions. 
instead of holding onto the weights. But if anybody is using weights, let's grab them. We're going to grab them, place them to the front of our mats, just approximately shoulder width apart. And what we're going to do is some traditional yoga poses, and we're going to add in some weights to go along with it. So let's start at the top of our mats. Let's take an inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Let's take a step back first with the right foot. We're going to come into a lunge, a high lunge. Now it's an option for you. You can drop the knee if you wish, grabbing onto the weights this time, one in each hand. Now with the strength of our core, we're going to hinge from our hips, long spine. We're going to start coming up and stay in our lunge pose. Okay. So again, we can always drop the knee if we need to. In this pose, I'm going to face you for a moment. We're going to goal post the arms to begin with. And on the up, we're going to bring the weights up, clank them together and then come back down until the elbows are approximately at shoulder level, okay? And we're working our shoulders in this. Shoulders, this whole area right here, our back. Okay, this is a great strengthening exercise. So let's come back into this lunge. So remember at the same time, I said this was a leg and upper body workout. So our legs are getting a workout here by being in lunge. Let's come in, goal post the arms. We're going to do, let's do seven. Inhale and then exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up for two. Inhale down. Exhale up for three. Inhale down. How about we do five? Exhale up for four. Inhale down, and final one, exhale up for five, good, let's come down, we don't want to drop, we're just going to come down with control, let's bring the weights down to the ground, we're going to move into a half series, so let's plant the hands to the ground, push back to down dog, good, let's take a few breaths, stretch out the legs, we're going to be feeling this with those lunges, so Working the heels up and down. Good. And then inhaling, plank, kneeling or full. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog. Exhaling, back to down dog. Woo! Good job, everyone. All right. This time, right foot up in between the hands. Option to drop the knee if we want to. Anybody sweating yet? Let's grab the weights again if we want to. If we're getting too sore in the shoulders, the chest, any of our muscles, just leave the weights down for now. This is definitely not a competition. We're working with what our body wants us to do. So let's come into again, goal posting those arms. Let's goal post the arms again. Now I'm going to face you for a moment so you can see me. This time I'm going to face the weights towards the wall, okay? Goal posting the arms. And we're going to come in, clank the weights together and squeeze the chest muscles. And then come back out with control. And then come back in and squeeze the chest muscles, okay? Palms facing forward into our lunge. Let's take an inhale. Exhaling, let's squeeze the chest muscles. Good, inhaling. Exhaling, squeeze. Inhaling. Exhaling, three. Inhaling, out. Exhaling, four. Good. Inhaling. And exhaling. For five. Weights into the chest. Let's drop them down. Good. Pushing into, again, if we want, child's pose, if we need to rest or we can rest in down dog if we like that, or choosing to come into our half series again. Good. Oh, great job, everyone. All right. And this time, let's come into a forward fold, stepping up. Good. We're done with the weights for now, so we can set them aside. 
Take an inhale, reverse swan dive. Hands to our heart center. Good job, everyone. Okay. Woo! Anybody else feeling that? That is a great workout. All right, so this time we're going to do what's called the Dancing Warrior. Just a little series of poses that are strung together. Some warrior poses as well as a side angle pose. Let's do it at least one time on each side, maybe two. Let's see how we feel here. Starting at the top of our mats. Let's take an inhale, arms up. Exhaling, hinging from our hips for a forward fold. Bending the knees if we need to, planting the hands to the ground. Let's hop back or step back, our choice, coming into a down dog. Very good. Let's take a few breaths here. Feel free to sway side to side if that feels good for you. Awesome. All right, left leg up to the sky. Let's step forward, hand in, or foot in between the hands. And we're going to drop the back foot. 45 degree angle, we're coming into a warrior one pose to begin with. If we need to, we can widen our stance with the toes close to the edge of our mat. Let's lift up, squaring the hips towards the front of the mat. Arms up, shoulders back and down. Let's hold this for a few breaths. Inhaling, rising, exhaling, opening up towards the front of the mat. If we've moved our leg for warrior one, we can now move it back so that the heels are in line with each other. A couple of inhales and exhales here. Coming into a side angle, we can hinge the arm, bring it to the quad. Let's open up the hip, the chest, arm up. We can reach up and over if we want and the option to drop the hand below. Good. Holding for a few breaths. And then again, strength of our core. Let's come up, back into a nice flow into warrior two. Let's circle sweep our arms. We're dancing. Arms down to the ground, hands to the ground, pushing back, downward facing dog. Awesome job, guys. Inhaling plank, exhaling halfway for our chaturanga. Inhaling upward facing dog, exhaling downward dog. We're gonna do the whole same thing on the other side. Right leg up to the sky, pointing the toes or maybe pointing towards the shin if you wanna engage those leg muscles. Let's step up in between the hands. And again, coming into a warrior pose, warrior one this time. The option to take a wide stance if we want, inhaling up, exhaling, sinking into the pose, shoulders back and down. Let's square the hips towards the front of the mat. Let's take the shoulders away from the ears and take a few breaths here. Good, inhaling, rising, exhaling, opening up the body for a warrior two. breaths and then moving into our side angle option to bring forearm to the quad let's open up the hip the shoulder the chest arm up then we can reach over for an extended and then we can drop the bottom arm if we want to if we're dropping that bottom arm guys let's make sure the hip and chest is still open we're aiming for a straight line from the heel all the way up to the head good inhaling up Let's flow, nice and steady, just like we were dancing. Great job. Circle sweep those arms, push back, downward dog. Great. Inhaling plank, exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down dog. Take a drink if you need to. I'm going to start coming into our cool down phase. 
And we're going to do that still with some active movement, moving into my version of what I like to call, or the version that I was taught, um, which is our moon salutations. I always like to use props for this. I like using blocks for my balancing half moon pose. Feel free to do so as well. I find I have a short arm and the pose is really helpful. We're done with our weights. Feel free to set them to your side, to the side. We don't need those anymore. All right, everybody ready? Hit the pause button if you need to, to take a little break. Otherwise, we're coming into what's called goddess pose. Toes pointing forward, let's goal post our arms. We could add in the weights here if we wanted to as we're going up and down. Feel free to do that if you're at that point. Okay. So let's come into our goddess pose. We're going to sink the bum down as far as we can, goal posting our arms, and we're going to flow probably three times. So inhale up, exhale, let's come down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, perhaps really slowing our breath down here, taking a little bit more time in these poses as we cool down. Exhale down, one more. Inhale up, and exhale for goddess pose. Good. Let's point towards the right side of our mat. We're gonna pivot the feet. Good. Coming into a crescent lunge. And then stepping up slightly, coming into our pyramid pose on the exhale. Let's take that block if we want to, bring it to the front outside of our foot, using whatever height we need for it. And moving into our balancing half moon. Good. Don't worry about how, how high your leg comes, don't worry about that using a, a wall if we need to be against a wall here to practice it. Good. Taking a few breaths. Kicking through the heel, pointing the toes towards the shin, and then let's push up, come back to center. Good. Inhale up. Exhale, let's flow. Inhale up. Exhaling. Goddess pose. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. One more, inhaling up, exhaling, pivoting. Good job. Inhaling for our crescent lunge. Inhaling up, exhaling, stepping forward, coming into our pyramid pose. Let's take a few breaths. Taking our block if we need it. And moving into our balancing half moon. Let's engage the muscles in that left leg, lifting up through the right, toes towards the heel, working on our balance here and our strength. Good job. And then let's come back to center. Good. Let's grab our blocks, bring them to the front of our mat, stack, stack them out of the way. And now we're really going to start cooling it down. Let's take an inhale. Volcano pose. Exhale, forward fold. And coming on to all fours. Let's come into an easy seated pose. If you are anything like me, your shoulders are hurting a little bit right now. Maybe your chest muscles too and your back from all of those weights. And we're just going to come into whatever way you feel like being seated on the ground right now. Whatever way works best for you. We're going to stretch out our shoulders with a cow face pose. Let's inhale, bring both arms up. Exhaling, let's drop the right arm behind us with the elbow close to the head. We're reaching behind with the left and trying to interlace the fingertips together. Good. While we're here, if this right shoulder is leaning forward, let's roll it back. Good. Creating that openness in the heart and then at the same time, the stretch in our chest and in our, ch and in our shoulders. Let's take a few breaths. Release. Good. Hands to the knees. 
Let's do the ins other side, inhaling up. This time, left arm behind the head, right arm to the back. You may find that it's a little tougher on one side than the other to clasp the fingers. And if you can't clasp the fingers, no worries at all. Grab a strap, a towel, a necktie, anything. Place that strap in the top hand and then grab onto the strap with the bottom hand gently and very slowly, gradually from day to day. Start working your hands towards each other by working up to, on, the, on the strap. A few more breaths. Good, let's release. Let's take an inhale, arms up. Exhale, we're going to give ourselves a hug. Let's wrap the left arm over top of the right, reaching as far back as we can on our back, and then let's lift up through the elbows. Good. Releasing, inhale, arms up. Exhale, other side. Right arm up top this time. Good. And then lift up through the elbows. Awesome job. Okay, hands back to our knees to seated. Good. Now, if you thought that yoga couldn't be a yoga workout or a strength building workout, I hope that you've learned differently today. I hope that you've got to build up some heat to burn some calories and as well as we build muscle it really helps us burn energy a lot faster which is great for weight loss. I hope you've enjoyed this class guys. Again my name is Kay, this is My Yoga Playground. Make sure to check out our website too. Of course if you're already a member you're already here. Namaste. See you in the next class. Hey guys, if you've watched to the end and you're on my YouTube channel, make sure you come on over to myyogaplayground.com, check out the full length version of this yoga class, and make sure to check out as well our premium membership, or if you're strictly interested in yoga for weight loss, check out our 21 day yoga for weight loss program, which includes a whole pile of yoga for weight loss yoga classes as well as a 21 day meal plan. So make sure to check that out. We'll see you over on the website and thanks so much for hanging out with me today and make sure to leave some comments below and let me know what you thought of the video. Namaste.